Hi, it's Alison Dorant coming to you from my studio in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and I am just so excited to share the project that I've been working on over the last month and the sort of focus of my recent YouTube channel videos. Uh, I'm new to YouTube, but I am documenting what has been inspiring me sort of on a daily basis, and it's just been absolutely a beautiful process for me and I also just wanted to say thanks to all of you that have checked it out and have commented and provided constructive criticism. Uh, it's been really really great learning for me. What I'm working on right now, those of you that have been following me, uh, I'm working on an oracle deck, an art deck of all of my works into something that's going to be handheld probably something you can shuffle through like a deck of cards. I haven't decided on that yet. I have had all of these sort of draft images of my art printed. This is just an example of one right here. Uh, this is printed on a wallpaper label. So this says breathe deeply at the bottom. And this particular painting I had written on it, remember your breath. For those of you that may have purchased this print uh, or have seen this, this is a painting that I did in 2020. And it was a reminder for me to have something on my wall when I walked by to remember to breathe when I was feeling anxious or had a lot on the go. It was that pause that I needed when I looked at this painting on my wall and I put it into print because I thought it really is a beautiful, uh, uh, sort of what I want to share with the world that we all need to take pause. The deck is very much about stillness and quieting your mind and how tapping into your creativity can help with that. I'm going to try and narrow my focus because I get so, so excited. I have drafts of all of the words I've wanted to include in my Oracle deck. What are the most important ones? Uh, I don't want it to be like a traditional tarot card deck, so I had to do some mind maps and really just fun mapping out of all of my thoughts because that's what works for me. I'm getting so close to being able to publish this deck, probably within the next month or two months, I would say. So I have these wallpaper labels. Uh, the cool thing about getting a draft on a wallpaper label, so I was developing my art in Canva, which is a new process for me, and I thought I really just need to hold the images, you know, at night just before I go to bed. I want to pull a card, a draft card. Uh, this one says positive thinking is powerful. And I want to see, does it resonate with me? Is it totally authentic? What does the art look like? So I'm going through this process and I put them on wallpaper labels primarily because they have this peel off backing. This is what I use when I display my art in galleries, restaurants, cafes, where you have a picture of the art you're selling, the price, QR code, how to find you, your website, and businesses love this because it doesn't take the paint off the wall. I'm digressing, but these wallpaper labels are incredible. And if you just think nowadays we can print on almost any material and uh, local print printing companies are becoming way more innovative with these things. Um, I have to thank Art Magic YYC for doing all of these labels for me. Uh, Art Magic does all of my Gicle fine art and canvas prints, but was very uh, just amazing, goes over the over the top to kind of help me out with projects. And uh, this is one that uh, we are working on uh, in terms of getting these wallpaper labels all cut and ready to go. So thank you so much, Ken, for this. I wanted to share with you too, I got a draft through, let's just see. These are, this was a draft of what I want on one side of the deck, but I have changed that. This is probably gonna be on the box. So it's my painting that has the word quiet in it and I did have a card that said practice stillness but this painting resonated with me so much. It was one I had done in my art journal and I absolutely loved it. I had art magic, put it into reproduction, it looked so great and I feel like it would be such a good image 
artwork to represent the whole oracle deck so i think that's probably what i'm going to put on the back of every card but obviously not with this writing on it simplify it um, now i have to thank little rock printing which is a local calgary printing company and they're incredible and they provided this draft oh my gosh they're so fast they delivered it within like less than 24 hours after i told them about my project and it's not cut which makes it a little bit harder because I really wanted to, I had to cut one out myself. So this is an example of a card that would go in the deck. It's a very, very high quality card stock. And this was what I was talking about that I want on the box. And this is a painting that didn't make the cut, but it's called Embrace Happy Accidents. And it just has my reticulated style on the side here with a little bird. And um, so I'm going through and I'm just really trying to narrow down I was at about 150 paintings in Canva and really trying to narrow down what is the most important that matches the word, the feeling, the title that I'd given the painting when I painted it. So I'm putting a lot, probably too much thought into this, but you can never really put too much time and thought into something that's probably going to outlive you. <laughs> I, uh, so these are, again, what I did is I had Little Rock Printing Company print what's called a postcard and that is because they don't print traditional tarot cards so I'm gonna see how this works for me I love love the quality of these postcards they're incredible I love Little Rock printing everything about them is amazing so uh, if you're in Alberta do check out Calgary Little Rock printing and just getting this draft you can see here I for some reason in Canva I didn't realize that I didn't uh, edit the background to be white so it just really helps to get drafts of your work. And for me, I really wanted to see what is the quality of different companies that I can produce this deck through. So I'm looking at different companies in Canada and the US, and I really just want to be able to feel it and see it. And I want that quality. So these wallpaper labels, this was one of my first drafts where I had my mountain painting and there you'll be on the front. At one point I was going to do a whole deck of just mountain art and then I went back and I put in my favorite mountain art because it is so important to me. It has so much meaning to me, the titles and the background of why I painted it and I feel like it would fit really well in, a, in an oracle card deck. What else can I tell you? This is just the most amazing process and the interesting thing is I have been rushing this process a bit and I couldn't figure out why. It was just like, I really wanted to get it done. I really wanted to get to the point where I was finished the edits and I was looking into printing and I could just see it, hold it, be finished with it because there's so much you can overthink when it's your own art. And there's so many words that I want to incorporate. So for me, it's been the journey, not this destination of publishing it, but the journey has uh, taught me so much about myself, the way I think, the way I work as an artist. And it, like, it, it really is just an incredible uh, way of giving yourself insights into both like your life, how you work, uh, what you create and the meaning for yourself. I was rushing the process so much it was starting to stress me out and my husband said to me you know there's no deadline on there is you know there's no deadline on this is there and I said well I'm taking a few courses and I really want to be able to ask those questions while the course is running even though like they're life lifelong courses and he said well you know I think the reason you're rushing is this is what you need the most in your deck what I have created is what I need the most in my life. And they say that artists do paint what they need in their life. And for me, that definitely resonates and it's so powerful and it doesn't work that way for all artists, I'm sure. We all work very differently. But for me, just the creation and seeing how I didn't slow down, like I didn't take a break. I just worked on this, you know, morning, night, anytime I got a break and and then I, it became almost confusing because I was so excited about it. So the card that I need to look at, there's one in here 
obviously the one about quiet, quieting my mind, pausing, practicing stillness, slowing down. These are all prompts that I have in my deck. And the deck, I feel like it's geared towards obviously individuals such as myself, people that of course resonate with my art because this is all my art. So you have to like my art to like the deck. I feel like though, I, I, I'm just looking for something, something that kind of goes with what I'm talking about. You know, here's one, this didn't make the cut either, but it was enjoy the journey. And I feel like this deck is both for creatives and it's like prompts. If you're stuck in your work or you're stuck in your art business or, or you know, your creative business. And I feel like this is just good for, we all have so much going on in our lives, no matter what we're doing, we could have busy day jobs or do shift work or be going through hard times. Uh, there's so much going on in the world with wars and uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of positive, but there's also a lot of negative. And so I, what I'm trying to say is I've created this deck for other people to be able to, you know, pick a card, have some insight and maybe be inspired by what the words say, or, you know, maybe they can meditate on the art itself. This one says, replay your favorite memories. Sometimes I have a really hard time turning off my brain at night. And when I had this deck, when I got it from Art Magic, I put this deck at my bedside and there are about 150 cards in here. Uh, and this just, it just helped me and it's helping me kind of navigate through what I want to have in my deck. This one says capture the moments. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you and encourage any of you that have an interest in making your own oracle deck, it is a really incredible process of learning and learning about the way you create and yourself. And wasn't it funny that I had purchased an oracle deck? I wanted to find one online that really resonated with me and figure out why is it that this deck stood out to me? Why did I purchase it? And I saw this deck by Adrian Vita. A-D-R-I-E-N-N-E, -E -E, Vita, like V-I-T-A, and it's called Love and Magic Oracle Deck. I still have to look up some information about this artist, but I, I just thought this cover was so painterly and authentic and beautiful. I, I This just stood out for me with all the decks that I had looked at, and I looked at quite a few, and I have quite a few. When I got it in the mail, she t attached all these little extras, this beautiful, beautiful note saying thank you. She attached these crystal and minerals, um, sorry, these little crystals. I don't know much about dream crystals, but also a card about Jupiter's eye, because where we're at right now, um, I don't know a lot about tarot card reading or astrology, but uh, she had written Jupiter's Eye, Judgment and Meaning, and took the time to handwrite this information. And I got this in the mail together and I thought, wow, that is like over the top amazing. And this is an amazing person I can see just from her deck. And I want my deck to have that same feeling for people. I love the feel of the deck. I love the size of the deck. And I couldn't believe that last night I was like, well, I had this conversation with my husband about slowing down and how there's no deadline and you're learning what you need to learn about yourself. And this is the takeaway from this beautiful thing that you're going to put out in the world. And I thought, well, there's 44 cards here. Wouldn't it be funny if I pulled out something very much appropriate and gosh, did it ever hit home? You are all, you already created what you want. It's waiting for you focus until you feel better, lighter, and then you believe and then you know. That is the card that I pulled out last night. And it makes me just like, wow, like, um, just really, really cool. I believe in synchronicity. And you know, I think sometimes things aren't just coincidences. So uh, I wanted to share that with you and I'll definitely link uh, Adrian's 
uh, website in this video. So I am going to start recording my YouTube video now. My focus is going to be on partly this process as well as I'm just craving painting rainbows and working with some of my new watercolor sets and going through some different palette books. I've been introducing some uh, new palettes and sort of painting my art poetry paintings that way and it's been so fun. So thank you so much for listening. If you got to the end, I really appreciate you being here and supporting me and do share your insights, your thoughts, uh, whether it's on this topic or something different. And I love to hear from you all. Thanks. Take care.